वेलकम बैक टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ फंजाई दैट इज रेंज ऑफ थैलस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन फंजाई सो दैट स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट विद रेंज ऑफ थैलस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फंजाई सो फंजाई शोज अ वैरायटी ऑफ थैलस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट वी विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन सो फर्स्ट इज प्लाज्मोडियल uh form so plasmodial form is the naked form which lacks cell wall and it uh, consists of a uh, amoeboid mass of protoplasm then second type we have unicellular thallus organization so in this type a single cell represents a thallus of fungi so, so that that single cell may be of variety of shapes like oval ovoid spherical and during reproduction in unicellular thallus the whole cell gets converted into reproductive unit and that type of reproduction is known as holocarpic reproduction or holocarpic fungi we can say then third uh, category is a uh, filamentous type so thallus is made up of long thread like structures which are known as hypha when these hypha intermingle uh, and they will give rise to another form which is known as mycelium so uh, we can say that hypha is the basic unit of fungi so cell of fungi is known as hypha so in this type of fungi a small portion of that mycelium give rise to reproductive units and this type of reproduction in fungi is known as eucarpic or we can say this type of fungi is known as eucarpic fungi then on the basis of septa present the filamentous thallus is divided into two types first is aseptic and second one is septate so septate thallus bear some pores uh, which are simple pores or dolly pore that we will discuss one by one in detail so let's start so first type of thallus is plasmodial thallus that as i have already discussed so it is a naked mass of protoplasm so it's a vegetative body which is naked means without any covering that uh, it lacks cell wall creeping and multinucleate so it contains multiple nuclei and amoeboid mass of protoplasm so there is no cell wall so it it is just similar to that of amoeboid and the examples are plasmodiophora and physerum that we can see in this picture so this is the picture of uh, plasmodiophora then <clears throat> this is the first form second leg is unicellular form so uni means single cellular means cell so single cell represents the full thallus of fungi so it can stop single cell which is which may be oval in shape or void or spherical in shape then at the type of reproduction at the time of reproduction this whole cell gets converted into reproductive cell and uh, this type of reproduction or this type of fungi is known as holocarpic fungi holo means whole body gets converted into reproductive unit the example is saccharomyces and synchytrium saccharomyces cerevisiae is the scientific name of yeast so this is the yeast that we use commonly known as baker's yeast and this is the magnified view of this yeast so it is a single cell fungi and its cell is consist of single cell the next form is filamentous form so plant, uh, this uh, body thallus consists of thread like structures and by the germination of spores they form tubular structure or thread like structure which is known as hypha so hypha is the basic unit of Fungal, fungal thallus, which divide and re-divide and give rise to a vegetative body of fungus, which is called mycelium. So, single thread is known as hypha. When there are multiple hyphae, which gets intermingled and they give rise to vegetative mass, then this structure is known as mycelium. so in this picture we can see here this is the filamentous structure and this structure is known as hypha and when it gets mixed or intermingled then we call it as mycelium that we can see here so a compact 
complex mass of hypha which is known as mycelium. Then we can say hyphae are the building blocks of mycelia. Mycelium. At maturity, during the time of reproduction, some of the hyphae becomes uh, mature and becomes active reproductively. So they act as reproductive bodies and this type of fungus is known as eucarpic. In the small portion of epithelus uh, will take part in reproduction. While in case of holocarpic fungus, the whole thallus or whole cell gets converted into a reproductive body. So this is the difference between holocarpic and eucarpic fungus. Then on the basis of filaments, we divide uh, these, uh, sorry, on the basis of septa, we divide the thalli into following types. First is aseptic thallus, means septa or any sort of compartment is absent. So it is represented by a single cell structure having multinuclear conditions. So this is equivalent to the sinusity condition. So it lacks septum and have many nuclei and such multinucleate or aseptic mycelium is known as sinusitic condition that we have already discussed in case of some algae like Wauchiria. Then septa are found, septa are found but they are found at the time of a reproduction when uh, the thallus give rise to reproductive bodies, these bodies are delimited by these septas. And if uh, the thallus is damaged by some injuries, then to repair those parts at the time of uh, repairing or curing, we can say, then there is septa formation. So examples of aseptic mycelium are albugo, pythium, and phytophthora that we will discuss later on in this in detail. So this is the septa, we can, this is the filament, we can say there is no septa formation. This is intermingle and uh, it shows a multinuclear condition and the septa are formed only at the time of reproduction. When there are reproductive bodies or there is damage ho isme, at that time the septa are formed, otherwise this is aseptic or we can say sinusitic mycelium having multinuclear condition. The next, we have septate mycelium as the name indicate. It means it consists of compartments. So this is multinuclear condition. In this picture, we can see here there are a lot of compartments. Or we can see a wall which separates the one cell from other cell. So mycelium is divided into many compartments. This is many compartment with the help of internal partitions which are known as septa which compartments hai, unko kaha jata hai, septa so we can see here this septum is singular and septa is plural so septa bears pores bear pores in their center and the function of this pore we can see here in this picture there are some pores and the function of these pore is exchange of material between those cells Then the pores are of two types. First is simple pores. Uh, these are simple holes in the septa and are known as annular septa. For example, in all septate fungi, except some basidiomycetes. Basidiomycetes is a class of one class of fungi uh, which represents the mushroom-like fungus. In addition to this, they also contain other types of fungi. So this is a large class of fungus basidiomycetes then there is a second special type of pore which is known as dolly pore this is a complex jar like pore present in the septa of basidiomycetes so this is characterized by this basidiomycetes it is exceptionally present in this group of fungi except rust and smites so these are some special fungi which belongs to this class but in these two fungi this dolly pore septum is absent then the rim of septal pore is swollen that we will see in the image rim side line we can say ye swollen hoti hai or bell shape is ka structure hota hai and uh, iska jo function hai that is passage of material and this passage that pore is known as dolly pore 
and the septa which contain this pore is known as dolly pore septa so in this picture we can see here this is the simple pore annular pore this is the barrel shaped structure right this one this is a barrel shaped structure special structure which is covered by one membrane like structure just uh, just called 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 parenthosome or pore cap and this type of pore is known as dolly pore which is restricted to a class of fungi that is basidiomycetes except some rust and smut and the septa which contain this pore is known as dolly pore septa so septa is known as dolly pore septa and this pore is enclosed on either side of either side by dome shaped membranous cap so ye jo pore hai dono taraf se cover hota hai this dome like structure and this dome like structure is known as parenthosome this is very very important and this type of pore is present in class basidiomycetes except rust and smuts so this is all about today discussion thank you have a great day